thinking, like, what is he, what is he doing? Why is he on the team, you know? But um, Spike has definitely helped us out down the stretch, knocking out two big threes last night, you know, handling ball when we, when we need uh, Trey to get a rest, you know, and, and even putting Trey and Spike in at the same time, you know, it's definitely helped us. And uh, Spike's basketball IQ is, is so high, and he understand, he really understands the game, you know? And um, I think having a person on your team like that is uh, definitely important. What kind of things we used to do against I believe Spike averaged like 27 in high school uh, his senior year. And I remember him just hitting three after three, come down in transition, splitting the ball screen, you know, and, and making reverse layups. You know, he was out there making us look like kids, you know. And um, I, that's that's the time where I knew Spike was a great player. Obviously, I didn't like him as much because he's on my high school. <laughs> he's the, uh, on the rival high school. But um, I, I noticed from then that he was a great player, and I always knew Spike, and uh, we had a pretty close relationship. And we and one thing that I definitely noticed by him is he seemed to take every game personally, seriously, you know. And, and um, from that point on, I knew that he could have a great career at college. You know, and nobody probably would have predicted that he would be at Michigan. But you know, I'm just happy to have him on my team. Glenn said that you never know when your last practice is in the NCAA tournament, but now you do. What's that like feeling that this is your final practice as a team together this year? Is there anything special, any more right. relaxed or anything like that? Um, you know, we're going to approach it the same way as we always have, you know, and um, this, I think it's a good feeling for us to actually know when our last practice is, you know, and um, it being today and, and we have one more game left. I think everybody understands that we want to go out here and win and win for each other, you know, because we've been through thick and thin with each other and we've been through so much with this team that, you know, we don't want to end it on a bad note and hopefully we can just continue to do what we've been doing and, and win tomorrow. What do you think the seniors are going to feel like at the end of today's practice? I think it's going to be a little different. It might be kind of weird for them knowing that this is their last practice. Uh, we might do a little something special. We always like christen the court by having somebody dunk. So I'm pretty sure all the seniors will go out and dunk or hit a three, you know, at the end of practice and just kind of cherish the moments. And it's a great feeling, you know, to be to to know when your last practice is, like I said. So, um, then obviously the Big Ten hasn't won here since 2000, so quite a kind of dry spell. And it's had a, you know you've had a great season. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, do you kind of feel a responsibility to come through for the Big Ten? And has your dad talked to you about that? <clears throat> um, no, my dad hasn't talked to me about that. Um, I don't think we're kind of looking at it that way. You know, we're just trying to get a win for the University of Michigan, but. Um, at the same time, I do know that, you know, some of the Big Ten is back and us up and hoping, hoping that we do, you know, accomplish this for the Big Ten. Um, I seen a tweet last night from Trevor Mbakwe at Minnesota, you know, uh, say he's rooting for U of M, you know, uh, go Big Ten. So uh, just to see that type of support, you know, from the Big Ten is um, great for us, even though we all are rivals. And, you know, when we're playing against each other, we take that seriously. But just to see how they kind of back us up is, is great. Do you think you need to win to sort of validate all the hype that the mm -hmm. conference got this year? Um, a little bit. You know, like I said, we want to win for ourselves. But at the same time, I believe the Big Ten is, is probably, if not the best, one of the best conferences, you know, in, in the nation. And uh, maybe this will kind of solve some of those arguments or whatever. So. Glenn, uh, this tournament has a history of launching guys maybe into the draft a year or two ahead of schedule based on how they do. How do you think – guys on this team are going to take into account, you know, this one in terms of what they want to do in the future? Um, you know, well, we're just still taking it one game at a time, and uh, we're, we're all prepared and ready for this next game, you know, and, and afterwards, you know, guys will split apart, decide what they want to do with their help of the coaches and family. Um, but, but definitely, I have seen the national championship and the tournament impact what players do, you know, with the rest of their careers or how they approach things, you know, and um, I think that's great. And we have had some players step up big time and um, play really well together. And I think that that will, you know, um, maybe start, maybe make people think or uh, anything. But like I said, we're taking it one game at a time and we're ready for tomorrow. Now, what's it been like, uh, once Trey announced he was coming, what's it been like to play with Trey for a year? How has mm -hmm. it changed you as a player? Um, it's been, uh, crazy experience you know I never would have thought I've been playing for the type of point guard you know that Trey Burke is and he really understands the game has a high IQ and he knows when to when to shoot it when to pass it you know um, like last night he's struggling he's not going to force things because he's struggling um, I seen him make the right play so many different times and um, being recruited 
um, and, and before I commit to Michigan, I know I remember Coach Beeline telling me that uh, Trey Burke, they're getting Trey Burke, and he's the type of point guard who um, is not selfish, and he's all about the team winning. And, you know, I kind of thought about that, and um, actually playing with him, I do see those uh, type of things that Trey does well and, you know, how he impacts this team so much. Sir, sir, if we can go 